Okay, so you know Zoo Park has been asking me for ages to do a house tour. So uh, I'm going to show you around. Hello, stranger. Come on in. The living room. Oh my god, my favorite room in the house this is where I spend most of my time. Hey now. I love this room. I got all my artwork on the wall here, and this this map here. This one is actually done by the country's true scale. So I love all that sort of stuff. Fire there. We got the. Um, the wood burn which goes through to the dining room as well, which is amazing on the snowy days. This coffee table is handmade in Scotland. Uh, it's a real chunky good bit of wood, this. I'm not a big fan of like furniture that you can't use, that you skip to like make a mark on. You know, a home is for living in, it's not a show home. And of course, yeah, you can go straight out to the garden from here as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is just a really cozy, cool room. Um, I think it's got lots of cool stuff on the walls and ornaments and things for my travels. Yeah, this is uh, this is where you'll mostly find me if I'm not in my room upstairs, dicking around with my toys. And here we have the dining room. Ah, man, everyone's gonna have a dining room. Uh, this one is different because this dining room has my favorite thing in the world. My book collection. I love books. I read all the time. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. I know I'm really on rock and roll, but hey, being stupid's not very rock and roll either, is it? So, uh. Some things you've never seen. And, um, yeah, so man, these are my pride and joy. These are the things that have sort of taught me everything I know about life. So blame them, don't blame me. Speech, not discrimination based on color, sexuality, gender. And we've also got this little fella. This little guy was sent to me um, by Nelly in Texas. A uh, bobblehead of myself, and uh, I think that's super awesome, and what a cool gift. So thank you, Nelly. That takes quite a place on my bookshelf. Serve your family, I treat them as my own. Oh, and like every dining room, this one comes with its own piano. about this dining room is actually what's outside. The piece de resistance to this whole house is what's outside this door. So I'm gonna let you go first and see for yourself. Check it out. Welcome to the backyard. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm aware of how lucky I am to live in such a beautiful place. So peaceful, there's literally nothing for like miles around here. Lots of room to play about in. There's a, a lot of parties happen out here. It's perfect for a summer party. Uh, we had like a like a eight person rave out here uh, a couple of weeks ago. But it's also like really picturesque in the winter time as well when it was snowing uh, over winter time. That you couldn't come out here, but it looked like something from a fantasy fiction fairy tale or something like that. That sits around waiting for the show to end. Cause I only see the best of you when you are pretending. There's just nothing around. It's beautiful. It's so peaceful. You know, all you can hear is the birds and stuff, man. You know, such a hippie. You see everything you ever do. Sacrifice. The kitchen. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know what most of this stuff does. I don't spend much of my time in here, uh, but this is the kitchen. As you can see, it's just kind of a small, cozy, um, typical country home, old house kind of kitchen. Um, Welsh slate flooring, which is cool. Um, loads of coffee paraphernalia there because I drink way too much caffeine. Um, and um, this wine rack, which back in my drinking days reminded me that you've earned it, which I didn't need to hear. And it's easy to point so if you out to the yard there, the finger of blame. And it's easy to feel the let's go on to the next. Play the game, but there's good days, bad days, and there will be always good news and bad news everywhere you go. Good people and bad news. bathroom. Um, not a lot you can say about a bathroom. Um, this one has got an amazing bath. That's one thing, a jacuzzi bath. Uh, the tub absolutely rocks. Um, it's kind of like the only redeeming feature of this um, because it's just a bathroom. Um, Andy Warhol from the wall. Um, it's got cool Welsh black slate flooring as well, which we saw in the kitchen um, coming through. And other than that, guys, it's just a bathroom. Um, so if you ever like, want to know where the jacuzzi is in the house, downstairs bathroom. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Okay, let's just stop here a second. The hallway is kind of like a walkway of artworks. Um, obviously got the Van Gogh there and the Franz Mark. I love this, one of my favorite expressionist painters. Um, bits of random stuff that I've bought in different places. Um, and this one, you got to check this out. This was given to me by a very good friend of mine, a talented artist, an all-round um, wonderful person, uh, Zoe Davis. I love everything about this. I love the colours. Uh, you can feel the paint on there, um, right up my street. So thanks for the um, the amazing gift, Zoe. It's the bedroom. Welcome to the bedroom. Um, as you can see, it's a room with a bed. And uh, I love the fact that the view goes straight out there onto the patio as well. I just kind of wanted this room to be like, you know, simple and cutchy. And I love this little funky uh, monkey lamp. <laughs> what a cool little dude to see first thing in the morning. This room also comes fitted with more clothing space than you could ever need. But absolutely all of it is for that you're So you've probably detected by now that I've got a bit of a thing for expressionist and abstract art. <laughs> but uh, I mean, come on man. That's beautiful. I love it. Okay, let me show you the ensuite bathroom. Ensuite bathroom. Um, not a lot to see here really, um, just an ensuite bathroom and uh, when you're sat on the toilet, what better thing to spend your time looking at than gorgeous ladies and Pink Floyd album covers, so um, that's about it, <laughs> on to the next. Welcome to Conic HQ. This is where you'll find me most of the time. This is my kind of office slash home studio space. Um, this is where I do all the Conic Record stuff and where I do my home demos and writing and things like that. So this is kind of like where I spend most of my time. Um, I don't have all my equipment in here. Most of it's in storage because uh, I like to keep this space kind of um, uncluttered and anything that doesn't need to be in here, I don't want it in here. I just want a small amount of stuff that works. I know how to use it. I don't have a boss. But I do have this fella looking over my shoulder at all times, reminding me of my own impending death, um, which helps you get shit done on a Monday morning. This, ladies and gentlemen, was this is print number one um, of this unique and very disturbing piece of work here, which was created by none other than the fashionable, handsome, talented, and lovely drummer of Kaishira, Mr. Glyn Bateman. Uh, created this very disturbing piece of work and I absolutely love it and this is the only piece of work that I have in my creative space. Also in here um, I have the biggest archive of Kashira stuff on the planet. 
thousands of photos, live videos, b-sides, demos, all sorts of things. And one day I'm going to try and trawl through it all and release some of it. Okay, so this is your room. Make yourself a home. Um, make as much mess as you like. You got your own fireplace. Super kochi. That sounds kind of Japanese. Uh, so that's the spare room. Come and stay anytime. Okay, see you guys. Thanks for coming. Hope you've enjoyed your visit and uh, I'll see you guys really soon. Love you guys. Yeah, all right, enough of the Mr. Nice Guy stuff. I thought I told you guys to get out of here, like. The race is out of control for you. Jesus. Moment we first met. You and me are misfits. That fit each other perfect. Sometimes I can't believe it. It's too good to be true